صلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد إمام أبو محمد عبد الرحمن بن أبي حاتم رحمه الله تعالى he asked his father and he asked Abu Zura about the madhab of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'a regarding Iman because Ahlul Sunnah believes Iman that it increases with obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it decreases with disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that our deeds are a part of our Iman they affect our Iman and that Iman is made up of faith in Islam is made up of it is made up of speech on your tongue it is made up of deeds with your limbs and it is made up of what is contained in your heart the actions of the heart so Abdurrahman ibn Abi Hatim rahimahullah ta'ala said qala sa'altu Abi wa Aba Zur'ata radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma عن المذهب أهل السنة في أصول الدين وما أدرك عليه العلماء في جميع الأمصار وما يعتقدان من ذلك فقال أدركنا العلماء في جميع الأمصار هجاز وعراق ومصر وشام واليمن فكان من مذهبهم أن الإيمان قول وعمل يزيد وينقص so he said that Abdurrahman bin Abi Hatim, he asked Abi, uh, Abu Zura and his father about the methodology or the madhab of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah regarding Usul al Deen, regarding the uh, foundation of the Islamic religion. And what they had encountered and what they believed regarding that. So he said, they said that they met scholars from around the world, from Egypt, from Yemen, from Sham, from Iraq, and from Hijaz, meaning like Mecca and Medina. And that they all believed that Iman is made up of whole, aqwal, the statements, and amal, and deeds, and that it increases and decreases. So that Iman, as we said before, it is made up of statements of the tongue, like the shahadatain, uh, and actions that you do by your limbs, for example, the salat, or making hajj, or any of those deeds which are physical deeds or removing something harmful in the path uh, that could be harmful to people and finally the actions of the heart as the Prophet ﷺ said when he mentioned that if a mor that there's a morsel of flesh a morsel of flesh that if it becomes sick everything the whole body is sick and he said verily it is the heart and the heart also is comprised of Iman Sheikh Zaid bin Muhammad bin Hadi al Medkhali, Hafidullah Ta'ala, he mentioned in explaining this, he said, Hatha huwa madhab ahl sunnati wal jama'a wa ta'arif al iman. Annahu qawlun bilisan ka shahadatain wa arkan wa kal arkan al iman alati yusarihu biha kullu muslim wa muslima wa mu'min wa mu'mina. وكما قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قل آمنت بالله ثم استقم إذا فالإيمان قول بلسان لمن هو قادر على النطق. so Sheikh Zaid mentioned he said this is the madhab of أهل السنة والجماعة and it is the definition of iman of faith. And that it is kol bilisan. So he mentioned the first part of that, which is the statement on the tongue. 
And then he gave some examples. He said, Kishahadatain, like taking the Shahada, bearing witness that there's no God worthy of worship except Allah. And that Muhammad, alayhi salatu wasalam, is his last prophet and messenger. That is a statement of the tongue. Also, Ka'arkan al Iman, like the pillars of faith, of Iman. Those are also can be uh, that a Muslim, a believing man, and a believing woman, and the believers that they say that with their tongue, that statement. Also, they hold that belief in their heart as well. And then he said, similar to the statement of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, who said, "Qul amantu billahi thumma stakam." The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Say, I believe in Allah, and then be straight, then walk straight." So then he said, therefore, Iman is a statement on the tongue for whoever is able to make that, uh, utter that statement. Then he mentioned the second part of that, uh, of, of what comprises Iman. He said, وَإِتَّقَادْ بِقَلْبِ And he said it is the belief in the heart. So he said, أَيْ مَا قَالَهُ بِلِسَانِهِ يَتَّقِدْ سِحَتُهُ بِقَلْبِهِ فَلْيَتَّفِقُ الْقَلْبِ وَلِسَانِ عَلَى سِحَةَ الْقَوْلِ Beautiful statement by the Imam. He said that وَإِتَّقَادْ بِقَلْبِ He said the holding the belief in the heart. And then he explained what that means. He said أَيْ مَنْ قَالَهُ بِلِسَانِهِ يَتَّقِدْ سِحَةُهُ بِقَلْبِهِ That whoever says this statement on their tongue that they must believe it uh, in their heart. So it's not just a matter of uttering like the hypocrites who utter things and don't believe it. Or who say that they're Muslim and even mix with the Muslims, but in fact they are, do not believe. So, but it, rather he said that it is that it is a statement on the tongue which is which a, uh, by by the statement on the tongue, which is believed in the heart that the person believes in their heart, and that the heart and the and the tongue are in agreement with that sound statement. So therefore, that is the opposite of the hypocrites, who in fact utter things on their tongue, which they do not believe in their heart. But rather, ahlus sunnah, their madhab, is that the. The, the statement of the tongue is also in accordance with the belief in the heart. Then he mentioned the third part of this. He explained, he said, And he said, deeds on the, uh, with the limbs. وَمُسْتَحَبَّاتِ كَالصَّلَاةِ وَصَوْمِ وَالْحَجِّ وَالْعُمْرَةِ وَالطَّلَبِ الْعِلْمِ وَالدَّعْوَةِ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَالْجِهَادِ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ وَالْأَمْرِ بِمَعْرُوفِ وَالنَّاهِ إِلَى الْمُنْقَرِ وَتَحْكِيكْ مِنْ هَجْ تَعَاوِنَ عَلَى بِرِّ وَتَقْوَى نَحْوَ ذَلِكْ So the Shaykh also mentioned at the third part of Iman is the deeds of the limbs. And he said what's meant by this is deeds that are, are actions that are done with your senses or with your limbs, for example, from the fara'id, from the obligatory duties and the wajibat, and the mustahabat, and those things which are recommended, sunnas. And he, then he gave examples. He said like salat, and like fasting, like hajj and umrah, and like seeking knowledge, and calling to Allah, da'wah to, da'wah to Allah, well jihad fi sibilillah, and jihad, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and commanding the good and forgiving and forbidding the evil and also actualizing the methodology of cooperating ta'awun ala bir wa taqwa and cooperating in righteousness and God fearfulness and other deeds that are physical so that shows us all of those actions those are all physical acts of ibadah and they're all a part of Iman that when we cooperate with our brothers and sisters from Ahlul Sunnah and from the, with the Muslims in general, then we are doing and we're implementing Iman with our limbs. We're practicing what Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has commanded us and what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has commanded us with. Ta'awun ala biri wa taqwa. And when we when we command the good and we forbid the evil, 
we are also doing a physical deed as commanding the good and forbidding the evil is also made up of all three of those components of Iman. As the Prophet Sallallahu said in the hadith of Abi Sa'id al-Khudri radiallahu ta'ala who said, سَمِعْتُ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمَ يَقُولُ مَنْ رَعَى مِنْكُمْ مُنْقَرٍ فَلِيَغَيْرُهُ بِيَدْ فَإِنْ لَمْ يَسْتَطِعْفَ بِلِسَانِ وَفَإِنْ لَمْ يَسْتَطِعْفَ بِقَلْبِهِ وَذَلِكَ عَرَوْ فَلِي مَنْ Whoever sees a good from amongst you, uh, change, uh, whoever sees an evil deed, then change it with his hand. And if he's unable to do so, then change it with his tongue. Speak out against it. And if he's unable to do so, then change it with the heart. And that is the weakest form of Iman. And the Prophet Sallallahu what did he say, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? He described all of it as Iman. That those actions of commanding the good and forbidding the evil with the, uh, by the hands as Iman. And by doing it by the tongue, by speaking out against it, is uh, Iman. And hating it in your heart, hating evil in your heart, is a part of Iman. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with, with uh, amal salihin wa rizqan tayyib wa amal mutaqabbilin wa ilm nafiyah and all of those things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.